In a series of two videos, I will show you how to set up and use Translation Workspace. In the first video, this one, I will show you how to set up the cloud-based interface of Translation Workspace. And in the second video, I will show you how to perform the actual translation. But first, let's have a look at the material that we are going to deal with. The document that we are going to translate is a small word document that looks like this. It has about uh, 10 segments and it's in Finnish. And we're going to translate it into English. The first resource that we have is a small TMX translation memory that has about uh, 1000 translation units. So we are going to import that into translation workspace. And the second resource is sample terminology that is available both as an Excel sheet and as a small text file. Text file looks like this. So there are six term pairs that are separated by tabulators. Again, we are going to import that sample terminology into Translation Workspace. Translation Workspace has two components. The first component is cloud-based and the second component is uh, Nextleaf Editor that uh, works in Windows. So let's move to the cloud-based interface. For that, we are going to go to geoworks.com, which is a website operated by Lionbridge, one of the world's largest translation companies, if not the largest. We can sign up for a free trial, which lasts for 30 days, and we let you translate uh, 5,000 words. Even though the trial is free, you must uh, provide your credit card details and uh, your card will not be charged if you cancel the trial before the 30 days. I have already set up my account for the free trial, so I can log in. My username is CatGuru. My password is already stored in the browser. And there is a tenancy here. So the translator is a bit like a poor farmer who cannot afford his own farm, so he has to rent one from Lionbridge. My tenancy, I called it also CatGuru. So I can sign in. And now I can move to Translation Workspace. And here I'll launch Translation Workspace. Okay, so my tenancy CatGuru is here. And what I will do first, I will create a new translation memory. I will call it uh, Sunto F-I-E-N. I will add a description. The contact is me and I will create it. Okay, so I have my first TM. Then I will create a second TM that will be the reference TM. So I will call it Ambit3 F-I-E-N. And again, I will add a small description. Contact is me again, and I'll create it. Now with this one, I will import the content of the TMX that I showed you earlier. It's here, and open, and start TM import. Okay, my TM has been imported. And next, I will create a new glossary. I will also call it Sunto F-I-E-N. I'll add a description. And again, the contact is me. Create. And also with the terminology, I will import the content of the text file that I showed you. So with this one, I will uh, specify that it's tab delimited. Well, I wasn't quite sure which is the delimiter, which is the separator, but I think tab is the separator. I have to specify the source language, so that's Finnish. And I will add target languages, well actually only one, that's English UK. Add, close, and now I can start importing. Okay, it's done. Just in case, I will check that the content is okay. So if I perform, I know that there are several words that start with pi now, pain. The source language is Finnish. I can start the search. Okay, so I have uh, several terms that were recognized. So next, I'll go back to my TM my Sorto TM. And what I need to do for this TM, I need to go to Manage. And here under Background Links, I need to add a couple of uh, links. So the first link will be to the Reference TM. So I'll add it as Background TM, Add. And the second link will be this Glossary. I will add it as Background Glossary. So when I select the Sunto F-I-E-N, T 
TM that will also select at the same time the background glossary and the background TM. Otherwise, these resources uh, cannot be used. So it's not particularly intuitive, but that's the way it works. So I'm done with this part here. Next, I will go to the Translation Workspace Tools, which is an icon on my desktop. I will select Conversion Tasks and Convert. I have to enter my password and connect. I'll accept the defaults. I'll select as my TM uh, Suunto FIEN, yes. I'll add as the source language Finnish, yes. As the target language English UK, yes, and OK. And now I can drag and drop the file that I want to translate, so it's this one, and I can have it converted. So now it's converted. If I open my folder, I can see in the same folder where I have my Word document, I also have a new file with the same name, but the extension XLZ, which is the format for the XLIF editor of uh, Translation Workspace. So I can double click that file. I need to specify the target language code. So that's ENGB. And here I have my file open in the Translation Workspace XLIF editor. So in the next video, we will translate this document using the resources that we set up in the cloud-based interface. And once it's uh, translated, we will generate the translated version of the Word document. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.